Hello everybody, May here and welcome to an unboxing and soldering video of the Mad Noodle prototype Noodle Pad version 1. It's a custom macro pad from, a, from this guy based in Brooklyn, New York. The high quality macro pad. So a macro pad is kind of like a shortcut, shortcut, you know, keyboard. So you see the squares, you can have up to, you know, for his pad, you can have up to eight keys and there is an encoder knob very high quality i got the color in black and has a cute mad noodle logo and you know you can program this to do anything you want there's a high quality encoder tab here which is used for like volume um you can push it and this uses USB-C connection now um there is a high quality acrylic base, which I got it in clear, and it has a really cute Mad, Lo Mad Noodle logo, and it has screws that it comes with. So I wanted to try to do my own keyboard, like soldering it, but um, I was afraid if I could mess it up. So he decided to give me instructions, saying use a small one, it's really pretty easy, and it was. So uh, this is the website, which gives you everything about the, macro pa the noodle pad, and it is RGB lighted. And you can have different colors for the base. I got the black one and there are really clear instructions of how to build your noodle pad. And on Etsy, if you don't want to solder anything, you can ask him to solder switches, which are Cherry MX, which can be brown, blue, or black. Um, and he can provide you the keycaps for those. Now, for you to start your soldering product, you definitely need a temperature variable soldering iron which I got in a kit this comes with a holder and I also have my switches which are the Gateron yellow silent from one up keyboards highly recommend them very very cushy um, switches and they have the plastic pieces in here that hook on to the noodle pad now this one actually has the holes for the two plastic pieces unlike what I had for the keyboard from um glorious pc race I had to sniff those off this one i did not and here is the soldering iron which i also got the recommendation recommendation link from one up keywords you need a mask for ventilation protection and eyeglasses so you just stick them in and there is eight keys in total so like i said before i wanted to do this project because i maybe wanted to make my own keyboard in the future and i was afraid of soldering so and i was talking to this to the guy he said you know this is a great starting product so that way you know it's fairly easy to solder on fairly easy to desolder if you make any issues so i was like okay and i was back and forth with him emailing and i was like you know what let me just do it and he was totally responsive totally cool and I was proud of myself with this. Now the, here is the completed switches on here and look at the back, it's really cool. And these are the four LEDs in the back, the four white squares, and here are the keycaps. So these are the same keycaps that I used for the GMK keyboard I did, and these are the pudding caps. Really awesome, really fun. And these are the glorious uh, PC Race O-rings, which are gonna go into the keycaps you see here. And they're made out of silicon which gives more cushion to the keycaps and a little bit more quietness to them. So it makes it's going to make the silence even more silent. Again, these are Gateron yellows, super cushy. Again, these are the ones I also use on my um, GMK keyboard. And here, I think I put it at 350, 360 uh, C. And that was what the recommended temperature was on the videos that I looked at. And this one has an on and off switch. Now I am doing this outside because it was super smoky. Oh, make sure you have a wet sponge so you can clean off your tip and put your soldering iron in the holder while it heats up. Yeah, so I have it outside so that way there's nice ventilation. I have no ventilation in my house where I was planning to do this. So this is also a weighted soldering wire holder, which was okay. And this is where you would, you know, use the tip of the soldering iron and melt the solder. So here we go. And a lot of the videos recommended that you put some soldering on the tip so that way it's easier to melt and make the connection there. So you see right there, I was nervous. And I was like, oh no, I can't do it. I'm gonna mess up. Cause it was also super smoky. 
Like, okay, let me just try this again. I cleaned off the tip and I did it. So now here is the second one, but I pulled off the iron too fast. It cooled down and it got stuck. I tried to break it off by wiggling it. I was like, oh no, I can't do this. Yeah. So back to drawing board. I'm going to melt the soldering and use the desolder to suck it up. So this is a spring-loaded suction basically and you have to time it right so that way when you push the button after you make make the I guess the solder gun click and it'll just suck it up really fast. There you go. And then we're going to do connection number 2. Which desoldering is a little bit um, of a tricky thing because you have to make sure that you melt the whole thing completely before you can actually take off all of the metal on it. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to be stuck with a partial partial soldering in it. So we're doing this again. And I think I was successful. Oh, that scared me. I'm going to do this one more time. Clean the tip as my little tip on the side it says it right there and we're gonna make a clean connection between the wire and the metal and there we go so we completed the connection so now we have the second prong the solder on and it's not gonna get stuck yes so now we're on to the second one. So there's a total of eight switches. And while we're going to be talking about this while you see the soldering, there is a program that you can use on the website. There are instructions under the support portion of the Mad Noodle website. Oh, I did it again. Crap. And it's actually fairly, fairly easy to use somewhat. I say somewhat because I'm not really good at coding, but you can definitely program so many different things with the macro pad. I have some of it for gaming and I have it also for like volume and stuff like that. And they have two different versions, two different programs that you can use to program the macro pad. And I used, I think it was the easier one, the new, the newer one, which is actually pretty cool. Now, I think for me personally, this macro pad is too small after I've used it for quite a few months. I've got, I got this in the summertime. So I'm gonna definitely get a bigger one. But this was definitely fun to solder for the first time. And we are complete. So now we have our beautiful, beautiful macro pad with the switches on here. And we are going to put the keycaps on. All right. Oh, wait, first off, we need the acrylic bottom piece. So again, this is a very high quality one, allows the RGB to shine through. And you can also program the RGB, by the way, but you have to use the program that is stated on the Noodle Pad website, Mad Noodle, Mad Noodle website. So I did a little bit of stupid thing with the screws here. I should have like flipped them over <laughs> and put it the other way. I was like, okay, what did I do? Yeah, see, I kept, they kept falling out. So what I did is that I just did it off screen and I put the nuts together and then I just needed to screw on the screws to complete our noodle pad. Well, keep it snug, to be honest. So I was going to do it by hand. Well, here comes the computer toolkit screwdriver to the rescue because it has magnetic tip and it holds it better. Make sure that you have a nice tight connection. Not too tight though, don't overstrip it. And I was an idiot because I forgot that the encoder knob can take off. Can you can take off the encoder knob and it made it easier to screw it up. Screw it on, I mean. Here are the final keycaps. Again, we're gonna put these in whichever order I put in the video. I had to fix it up a little bit. And it was actually super smooth, super fast with these uh and cushy with these switches. There you go, my escape, the volume buttons, and there we go. Put the encoder keycap back on. Right. I swapped some keys around and I fixed it pressing it. And then I also then changed the escape key for a really cute keycap. As you're going to see here in a second. So 
the one I have is a purple moon skin moon cake keycap I got from Canada. And there we go. The special noodle macro noodle pad is complete. I highly recommend it if you want to start soldering, want to have a mini macro pad.